Okay, guys, so there's a lot of misinformation going on surrounding the Nick Blixey passing. Now, R.I.P. to Nick Blixey. Um, first off, this brother was not, and I repeat, not taken out by the cops. That's just not the case. I know you saw the women wailing and blaming the cops on the film, on the footage, which I won't show here of him, you know, of, of his, of when they responded to the shots fired and came to the scene and provided life-saving measures, CPR, tried to, you know, save this brother's life. They were accused of doing it. They were actually the ones that came and tried to save his life. As they do so many brothers. If you're from the, well, some of y'all, I don't know where y'all from, but if you are from a neighborhood that is very crowded, you know that the first thing when the cops come, they provide life saving measures such as CPR, wound, tying up the wounds, trying to stop the bleeding. Then the EMTs come and they do the next step will try to do the best they can and then they rush to the hospital and get into the best surgeons in the city where more life saving measures are taken and that's why the, 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 the murder rate in a lot of these cities isn't as high as it could be it would be way more brothers dead if it wasn't for the cops showing up on the scene, giving life-saving measures. Now, every once in a blue moon, they're going to beat up a brother or get beat up or have water thrown on them or they're going to shoot somebody. And, you know, it's just hectic out there. Things will happen. But 98% of the time when they show up, it's the invest it's, it's after it's after somebody else that did something. So, he was not taken out by the cops. This is all gangland. And a lot of people are saying that this has something to do with the pop smoke situation. And those people that are saying that are the NYPD. <laughs> okay, their investigation. Now, I know you've done more investigating than the NYPD. You know more than they know, because you know everybody online know every goddamn thing. The NYPD says that they feel like there's a connection between this and the Pop Smoke murder out west. They feel there's a connection. Now, there, there is a little bit of disinformation going on about that. People are saying that. Nick Blixty was disparaging and talking down on the name of Pop Smoke after Pop Smoke passed. Apparently, it wasn't Nick Blixey. It was another member of his crew, Breezy Blixey. Now, I'm not 100% sure on that. But hey. That's how it is with crews. If you're in the crew and you laughing and giggling while your man is saying these things or you liking posts and everything and thumbs up, it, it come down on YouTube. But apparently it was Breezy Blixy was the one that was allegedly supposed to be talking down on Pop Smoke's name after he passed up. Now, This is a terrible situation. A lot of people were upset when they thought the cops did it. <laughs> they thought the cops did oh my God. We almost had a march. It was just about to be a march. Like there was it was this close to be a march, to be in a march. You gonna have NBA players talking about it. 
He's going to have actors posting about He almost got his funeral paid for. But, mm mm mm. Last second came out that it wasn't the cops that did it. So now nobody cares. You won't hear nothing from LeBron James. You won't hear nothing from Tom. None of these, these, these celebrities, none of these rappers, none of these actresses. You won't hear nothing from Sean King and all these actors. Nothing. This was straight in the hood. You won't hear nothing about, you ain't hear nothing, okay? Nothing. You ain't hear peep about this and from an activist, a ball player, nothing. So make sure you come here. We're going to talk about it, though. We're going to talk about it. Sub to the channel. We're going to talk about it. Make sure you sub to the channel. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button. We're going to talk about it. Because, um... It's daggone shame, man. Got these wars going. You ain't no suspects in either one. No suspects in Pop Smoke. No suspects in this. Why ain't people crying for justice? Bring the killers to justice. Why they ain't doing that? Why they ain't? We're all the activists. I'm going to tell you why. You know why. They don't care unless, some, unless you know who... They don't care about it unless you know who did it. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care. Unless you did. And I don't hear about, well, they gangsters. They was this close to marching until they found out it wasn't the police did it. They knew he's a gangster. They don't care. Ahmaud Arbery was a gangster. Not, not a gangster, but a street dude. Check on my uh, Arbery track record. He was he was about that. He was with it. He was with all that. Brothers, cousins, the whole family. They about that. Do your research. They don't. It ain't got nothing to do with all oh, that's some gangster stuff. The activists ain't gonna get involved in that. Nope. They don't care about your life unless it was taken by you-know-who.